Now, what were you doing when I was climbing here 12 years ago? <laughs> I had just gotten into climbing, climbing barefooted out at Ashland City and uh -huh. rappelling and that sort of thing. And you were out here climbing 12A roof cracks. Well, you know, things are relative. Now you're quite accomplished in your own right. So, things change. Okay. Let's set up right over here and sort our gear. This area where we're at right now is doesn't really have a specific name that I know of other than Sequatchie Valley. Right. There are a lot of different sandstone bands that uh, go along each side of the valley. Every time there's a ravine that goes up into the valley, they call it a gulf. And this is called Woodcott Gulf. And so I guess that would be... It's on the west side of the Sequatchie yeah. Valley. It's on the west side, close to Dunlap. I've been climbing in this area, well, I guess first time was about 12 years ago. But don't come here too often, but I always seem to be coming back to this particular route. This is my third visit. Yeah, it's a good one. I've, I've been here twice, and both times were with Arno. I did this last time without tape and just yeah. butchered, butchered my hands. Yeah. Just butchered. I think that a lot of experienced climbers are, are catching on that there's a lot of good climbing in the east. Um, but I think for the most part, uh, people don't think of the east as having lots of really good climbing, or, or very much at all, really. Um, I feel like uh, the East, move for move, has some of the best climbing in the nation. Nice warm up. Spirituality to me is being, realizing more of who you are and what you're capable of doing. And what better medium than rock climbing? So if you're rock climbing, and you're up there getting on harder and harder climbs, dealing with the frustrations, dealing with the chaos of not knowing if you can make it or not, the unknown situations, growing through that, then yeah, that's spirituality to me. There are a lot of climbing issues uh, that are facing the sport of climbing right now. Fixed anchors, whether they should be banned or not, um, Traditional climbing versus sport climbing. I think you need variety. Yeah, I think you I, need both because they're both going to be mediums yeah. for, for learning. It, it's so easy to give an opinion about whether you should have fixed anchors or not. On, on that particular situation, you know, we really need to take everybody's, all of the interest groups, into consideration right, because it is climbers important. Too. Climbers aren't the only ones that are important, right. but they are important. A definite important ingredient mm -hmm. and we need to be listened mm -hmm. to. You're gonna have a trade-off no matter what you do. Right. So that it's important to know that when when whoever is deciding what we should do with fixed anchors, that they need to take everything in consideration. Because rock climbing is a, a definite important vehicle for allowing people to develop more self-confidence, to get out there and take some risks. And yeah, it is dangerous. But so is skydiving and kayaking and anything, anything's going to be dangerous that's going to take you out of your comfort zone. But that's what you need to do to grow. It's so scary venturing out into the unknown because it means we're going to have to change. Mm -hmm. But doing that is what really creates who we are. All right, climbing. Climb on. Climb away. Got a little bit longer sling on it now. Okay. Okay, 
let's see what that thing looks like. But looks good. I think it's good. Looks good from what I can tell. In the couch position. Yeah. Okay. Oop. Getting the right gear is always important, especially saving the pieces you're going to need. Okay, man. You got it. Oop. Being upside down, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh no. You just have to think of it properly. Take it. Well, when I was climbing up uh, on the roof of Don Juan, I had my tape on, and, and it was pretty thin layer of tape because I knew that the crack was uh, 
a bit narrow for my hands. Uh, I, I went out the first time and it was, it was hard for me to jam, make jams. So I felt like, well, I climbed it twice before without tape and was able to make it fine. So why don't I just go ahead and take it off? Okay, I'm gonna try it without the gloves. It's certainly warmer now than, than last time. Know if this making them making it greasy or whatnot. There you go. I like that. Yeah, your posture's better this time. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. That should be a, a good piece. I'm just resting a moment. Okay. Here it goes. My brother and I actually did the first ascent of Don Juan, and it's, it's rated 12A. It's a roof crack. And back in the mid 80s, uh, pretty much when, when you were looking for new climbs to do, you're looking for cracks. And so some of these climbing areas like Tennessee Wall and Sunset were getting climbed out. In other words, there wasn't much room for new, new routes. So. My brother and I wanted to check out some, some areas that hadn't been looked at yet. So we went up in the Sequatchie Valley looking for cracks, particularly roof cracks. There are something very appealing about a fissure that goes through a roof like that. It seems so impossible, uh, which makes it that much greater of a challenge. So that's what we were looking for. And we found one. All right, my man, I got you. Thank you. Climbing. Okay, on. There are two tiers. The first one is about a body length, um, and you've got a it's a it's a crack that's not quite tight, uh, wide enough to get your hands in, so it makes it a little a little uh, a little tenuous, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, and you can you can reach way up to the top of the first tier and and you get both hands up there, and then you can you can swing around and get a kind of a heel hook mm -hmm. and. And you get into a little, a little. It's not a pocket, but it's a little. I don't know, a little. We call it the couch position. Really, what what we're talking about is is being. You've got your feet pressed against 
one side of a little wall and your back's against another side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're kind of uh, seated in there in a jam and you can, you can rest your arms. Mm -hmm. Are you in the couch? I'm in the couch. From there on, it's, I guess, two full body lengths mm -hmm. of uh, just perfect straight in Jams. splitter hand, yeah. hand crack. When you're getting ready to go, you, you look Upside down, out, mm -hmm. out that roof, completely dead horizontal. Can be quite intimidating, and that's the biggest challenge work for that you. most climbers have. Is in climbing, you can make a situation a lot scarier than what it really is, just by the imaginings that you have in your own mind. Mm -hmm. When really, it's just a, it's just a series of moves through that type of a. A climb. Mm -hmm. It's just a roof with a crack going through it. Climb what's there. Don't uh, think about it, how Stay high focused. it is off the ground or being upside down. Just focus on what's going to help you yeah. make the moves so that you yeah, can make it through. The lip of a roof, pulling the lip, Looking is good, a lot right? of times the hardest, the hardest part, part right. of, of the whole mm -hmm. uh, roof type of climb. And in and, and this Look one it too, it's maybe not as hard as some that I've been on, but. Right. You definitely have to be creative to, De to use that heel hook. Definitely not something that you would automatically think to do. I've never done right. a move like that in my life, and wouldn't it wouldn't occur to me to do that. A little bit higher, man. Right? Almost. Come on. Up just about. Come on. Slide it in right there. Got it. Okay. Chill out. Relax. Relax. And then... Okay to relax, relax. be able to just stay there <laughs> and relax with it right. without uh, feeling like you got to hurry up and, mm -hmm. and pull the lip. Right. Just shake out, regain your composure, mm -hmm. regain your strength, and then continue While on. you're hanging upside down, come like entirely upside down on yep. one heel, you got to get it together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, you got it. Match. Work it out now. It's the individual um, yeah. essence of everybody that seem, seems to be directed mm -hmm. toward a particular activity. Right. And for, for us, apparently, it's climbing. Mm -hmm. the, the movement, the physicality of it, associated with the problem solving mm -hmm. that's associated with, mm -hmm. uh, with climbing, just all seems to be something that uh, I enjoy. When you're really passionate about something, you're going to go after it. And when you're going after it like that, it's going to disrupt a lot yeah. behind you. And you're going to leave some things in your way. Uh, and some of those I, I would almost like to change. But when I really think about it, I wouldn't have been myself if I would have if I would have deviated away from mm -hmm, what was really mm -hmm, what you really cared about me, yeah. what I really cared about.